You disrupted a negotiation! Whoa! Let Arthur. him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. Hey guys, welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. I'm Game Karma, and today we are going to be playing more Red Dead Redemption 2. So let's get started. On today's episode, we are going to be visiting Captain Monroe again. You agreed to help Captain Monroe at the Wapiti Reservation. So that's that's what we're going to do. We're going to head on over. We were at Hamish's cabin last episode. Nothing has changed. Haven't done anything. We're just going to go straight on over to the reservation. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be quite the ride. It's going to be quite the ride. Um, hopefully my horse is nearby. Yes. Thank goodness. Here we go. Here we go. Here we are. We are at the Wapiti. Mr. Morgan. Hello. Let me hitch my horse. Or not. All right. Let's go. Hello, hello. Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe. Of course. Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? Oh. I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out. He knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? Yeah. I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a PD after coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. Let's <laughs> Mr. Morgan, Let's go. we must act with due caution. Oh, we oh, shall. Don't underestimate we me. surely shall. Now come. <laughs> You'll okay. get him, Arthur. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. All right, waiting on you. So, this Colonel Favors, he knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. Can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll mm -hmm. get the medicine for you. Yes. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. 
Let's go get that medicine. All right. This is the spot I was thinking of. Okay. Let's go up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Easy. Ooh, this is a good spot. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. Okay. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. All oh, those mountains are gorgeous. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. Not all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, okay. I, I can't promise. How are we going to go about doing this? Retrieve the medicine from the supply wagon. Uh... Okay. Yep. Jump the wagon? <laughs> Just do what we normally do on how to steal a wagon. I have no idea how we're gonna go about this. Here it goes. Come on. Hold it right there. Whoa, you better put that down right now. Do you want to get shot? Is that it? No. Um. Uh... gonna die oh, okay um so we have to shoot them. we have to shoot them i thought it was doing them pretty good tackling them down uh, i guess not That's oh he just went on shooting A no no. But let's get our supplies. Let's see. Do you have supplies? Gun oil. Thank you. Oh, that was a no no too. Alright, let's check this out. Search medicine crate. Oh no 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 no. No no no. How did I get up there? All right, what's this? Got some medicine, looks like. Put it all in our satchel. Okay, let's return the medicine. Now, I, I apologize for killing these guys. Um, it's not the way I intended it to go. Come on. But they shot at me. I stood my ground. It is what it is. Alright, so hopefully he's not too upset at us. Here we are. Let's go see Captain Monroe. Whoa! So where is he? Map says he's over here.
Captain Monroe? Hello. I got the medicine. Ah, oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <laughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Woohoo! They got Maybe medicine. it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. Woo! I feel like we did such a good thing. Honor among it. thieves. Colonel Favors is redirecting smallpox vaccine away from the Wapiti Reservation to punish the Native Americans for the recent unrest. Monroe requests Arthur's help to steal the vaccine from the army, and it was a success. Uh, recover the vaccine without being detected? That didn't work. Nope. Nope. I killed them. Complete within five minutes. It's supposed to be that short. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's my playthrough of this mission. <laughs> Let's see where we are going next. Oh, we have Hamish Sinclair. He's back. Let's see what Hamish wants us to do. Uh, and we also have Josiah Trelawney and Micah Bell and also Sadie Adler. Lots to do. Lots to do. On our way back to camp. Let's go see Hamish and see what he needs. Hello? Just a moment. Hamish! Arthur! Come on in. So, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. So it's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> Civilization. Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you in the war. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Well, I ain't company. Come look at these. Remember catching that? Oh, nice. I Mounted. I know you ain't forgot about him. Oh, I still oh, see man. him in my dreams. Yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's that? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size Whoa. of that boar. Oh, that's a big Holy boy. It's almost. Half the I saw size some cattle board. gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. That's gonna kill it. Oh, I got him! Pursue! I'll grab the mounts! Oh! Okay, um... Stop there! Kill the boar. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, shoot, we only got pistols on us. Well... Oh, man, our revolvers need cleaning! <laughs> okay, let's see if we can... Okay, oh, man! Far away. Search for signs of the boar. Come on, um, where are you? Let's see. There's some tracks. I got the horse. Come on. Is my horse here? Oh, yes. Okay. I need to grab my other gun. I'm afraid I lost sight of him. Don't worry. Oh, my God. All my... All my guns are Traps dirty. Traps go this way. Come on. Okay, let's go. You see that thing? It's as big as a buffalo. That was a big Fox, boy. Too. Yeah, but we'll get him. He came through here, all right. Be a 
big shit. He's been across here twice. What we do? Well, he's been up this hill to the right, and down this one in front of us. But I can't tell which tracks is fresher. Wow, he's Let's good. Let's split up. You go up, and okay. I'll go onwards. Okay. okay. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah. Come on, view. Okay, I think we could take our horse up here. Okay, let's, uh, eagle eye. There we go. What's that? Whoa! He's got a wood! I didn't know they killed wolves. Born wolves, too. Whoa! Damn it! Let's go, let's go! Okay, there, girl. Yeah. Hopefully, this is a shortcut. I'm not. Oh, God. Shit, he's after me. Oh, God. Check on Hamish. Hamish, I'm coming! Yep. Okay, where'd he go? Up here? Okay, where is he? There's his horse. Famous. Oh no! God. Oh no! <laughs> I got thrown and the bastard hog got me. Take a bill for me, would you? He's a good horse. He may be stubborn, <clears throat> but he's strong. <laughs> hey, oh my goodness! Revenge! Oh God! Oh, shoot. <gasps> oh, go. my God. Hamish is dead. A huge rod horse sighted near Hamish's cabin and a hunt begins. Oh, my God. Let's take that trophy, though. All right, let's get... Come on, now. These horses back to camp. Come on, Bill. Let's mark camp on our map. And um, at camp is also a Trelawney quest, but we are joined to go to camp first. What horse is it? Oh, that's Arthur's horse. That's us. That's us. Okay, so let's take this horse back to camp. Hello. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Where are you uh, going? What do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> but I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. <laughs> Get out of here. I love that hat. I'll that miss we you, just Arthur. Took. You've been a fine friend to me. Oh, well, let's not get over sentimental. Well. Place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. The camp is falling apart. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? Hi, a little better. Paul. I hope so. How can I help you? I am sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting oh. to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Ah, uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, 
their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. Oh. Sure. Come on. <laughs> you owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. <laughs> All right, I finally get to meet uh, Colonel Favors. Finally. Let's see, where's my main horse? Here we go. Whee! This way. I also have some men meeting me there. Whoa, Charles, Charles. Thank you for doing this, both of you. Whoa. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. Mm -hmm. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld. How can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. Oh, you yeah. will be at the meeting and there's one person who knows the true situation at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Oh, I, I hope so. I hope so. Crane's Paul is so sweet. is so big. Whoa, whoa! Okay, I'm hitching the horse. Here we go! Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't Thank cause you? any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um... <laughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name, is it? Oh my In God. English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. 
Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Oh my Someone. goodness, Arthur, Jackson, not take again. him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains fall. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. Federal government. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. You guys. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Oh, no. Why oh, I liked him, Favors too. Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. High tail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. I know. Me, too. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. That treaty will grant you new lands. The lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <gasps> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, well, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest no. me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Whoa! Let Arthur. him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man. But shout. Get off me. Back way Charles to the horse. I don't Captain know where my Monroe horse is. Oh, there it is. Now we're getting Back. out of here. Oh, this feels like a western. You son of a bitch! Think about what you're doing! Open fire! Uh! Alright, let's go, let's go!
about the chief. Yeah, let's talk we'll about Reed's fall can. for a second. I guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't oh, think so. It's the Hogwarts so. Express. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. We take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. <laughs> Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Mr. Morgan! <coughs> Hi! Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, never better. Not, what not are you doing good. here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Uh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. Uh. <coughs> 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 my Arthur. My, my Arthur. What's wrong? I'm, uh, uh, I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. <sighs> I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. 
and my daddy. Well, I watched him die. And it worked soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I going to do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Help him makes you really happy. <sighs> I think we help all the time. But I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then, I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <sighs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard. I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. Oh, bye. Oh, that was very warming to hear. Arthur attends a truce meeting between Colonel Favors and Rainsfall, where Rainsfall hopes to negotiate peace. And it wasn't very peaceful. It was not. So now we need to go back to camp, right? Then maybe meet back up with Charles to continue? No? Oh, wait. No? Ooh, what's up here? Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte's back. Oh, awesome. Let's end the episode visiting Charlotte. How does that sound, you guys? Let's see what Charlotte is up to. Oh, we got a long ride. Long, long ride. Let's go. Here we are. We're at Charlotte's property. Let's see what Charlotte is up to. Woo! What an entrance! Hello, pretty lady. Howdy! My, my. I was wondering when I was gonna see you again. You look different. <laughs> well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh, no, I didn't mean that. No, I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh. You did it all yourself. <coughs> so how are you holding up? Ah, uh, I'm still standing. Which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. I wish that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am, you mm. have done more than enough. Please, call me Charlotte. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Well, you take care of yourself, Arthur. Oh. Was that all? Please go on in and help yourself to anything you need. What's mine is yours. Oh, that's oh. so nice of her. Oh, well, that's very kind. <laughs> oh. Charlotte, it was a pleasure meeting you. You too, Arthur. Please be well. Oh, look, she's got a garden, some corn. Oh, man. Oh, look at her. All right, you guys, that is the end of today's episode. Next episode, if nothing pops up on the way, we are going to go down into, let's see. Um, see what Sadie Adler wants first. Here we go. So Sadie needs to speak with us. So that's what we're going to do next is we're going to go speak to Sadie Adler next episode. And oh, and we have looks like we have a letter. 
we also have a letter at camp. So we'll head back to both of those, the letter and C.D. Adler next episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode so much. And if you have, please hit that like and subscribe button and let everybody know about my playthrough. And I'll see you guys next time on another new episode of Red Dead Redemption 2, played by yours truly. See you later, you guys. Thank <music> you.